Hi guys! I am making some beef jerky, or I'm trying to. So I bought some steaks, and I've been cutting off the fat and putting the fat in this bag. And I'm really wishing I had a dog, because like, I'm not very good at trimming the fat, so there's a lot of steak in there too. So I only have this little slice left, and I forgot to uh, record, so I'll just show you what I've done so far. So you know how to chop meat. So everything I read says to try to cut it into about quarter inch thick strips, so I'm hoping these are okay, and I'm hoping there's not too much fat still going through there. So I've got this much cut, and I only have to cut this much more, and then I can make my marinade and let it sit. So. I'll show you that step next. I'm making my, I'm making my marinoid, meh, marinade now for the uh, g jerky. The recipe I found online on Excalibur's website says to use one third a cup of red wine vinegar. So I've, I've already got that in there. And now it says to use three tablespoons of brown sugar, but I'm using brown sugar Splenda instead to cut down on the sugar. So hopefully that will be okay. And uh, hang on, I'm going to, well, you guys know what three tablespoons look like. Here's one. So one, and I'm going to have to get a tripod. Two, I guess those are heaping tablespoons, but I've got more meat than they said. Three. So I might have to do two batches. So there's three tablespoons of brown sugar, and it also says to use a tablespoon of garlic powder and a half a tablespoon of onion powder. So, or was that a teaspoon? I don't remember. And uh, it doesn't call for soy sauce, but I'm going to add a little wee bit of soy sauce. I bought the reduced sodium kind. All right, I'll be right back. Hi, Smoke. The Now I have the onion powder and the garlic powder. Sorry, you guys. My camera just keeps shutting off on me, and I don't know why. So I'm just going to stir that up. I'm not sure if I'm going to like the red wine vinegar in this. I think it's supposed to be as a meat tenderizer. This is supposed to make a barbecue kind of flavor, but um, I don't know. We'll see. So I'm going to mix that up, and it also calls for some paprika or chili powder. Um, I guess you could basically put anything in here. I'm not sure if I'm going to like this. It really does smell like wine. I'm not a fan of wine. So I'm only going to do a portion of it with this one. And the other one I'm just going to make up my own with just the soy sauce and the spices. I'll be right back. Hang on. I'm going to use a, um, a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. My lid doesn't want to come off, so I'm just dashing it in there a little bit. I'm not going to add too much because I don't want it too hot. And it also says dry mustard, but I don't like that taste, so I'm leaving it out. And it, it says to use salt and pepper, a teaspoon of salt, and... Um, a quarter teaspoon of pepper so I'll do that but I'm instead of the salt I'm gonna add the soy sauce but even though it's the reduced sodium there's still quite a bit of sodium and soy sauce so I'm gonna do that all right I'll be right back okay guys so I have put the um, the red wine vinegar the cayenne pepper onion powder garlic salt soy sauce pepper and some Splenda brown sugar Splenda so I've got that all mixed up and it's um it's smelling better than it did when it was just the vinegar, and I'm going to put some of these strips in here to marinate them, and that will be test one, and then I'm going to go look online for a different recipe. This is called Southwestern Barbecue, or Western Barbecue, and I found it on the Excalibur website. Now, my favorite beef jerky store-bought is the um, Korean Barbecue. So I think there's ginger in that one, but I did not buy the ground ginger because they didn't have a small portion of ground ginger. They just had a huge one. And I do have some fresh ginger. I guess I can, now that I have a dehydrator, I can dehydrate my own ginger rather than letting it go bad. So I'll do one tray of this um, marinade and see how it turns out. And I'm not sure how much meat will fit on a tray, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to cook all of this in two batches. But this is $20 worth of meat, um, under $20, more like $17 or $18 worth of steak. So I hope I don't screw up, because that's a lot of steak. I mean, 
at the amount that I can eat, this would last me forever in a day. Because I can only eat two to three ounces at a time. But I love jerky and I wanted to try this. So oh, there's a long strip. So then excuse my fingers, they're dry. I mean, they're clean. They're not dry, definitely not. But they are clean. And I, I put two teaspoons of the uh, low sodium soy sauce. So hopefully that'll be enough salt content. So I'm just gonna keep doing this. And then I'm gonna put this back in the fridge and let it sit for a few hours. All right, I'll come back later. So I used, again, three tablespoons of brown sugar Splenda, same as before. And I also used the um, onion powder and the garlic powder like before, but this time I did one teaspoon of garlic and half a teaspoon of onion instead of the other one had one teaspoon of onion and half a teaspoon of garlic. And I also added, I did have some ground ginger in the basement. I forgot that I had bought it. So I'm glad because the one I found in the in the store, they wanted so much money for this big, huge container. And it's nice to have these little ones. So I added a teaspoon of ground sugar and um, a half a teaspoon of ground mustard. And I know I said I didn't like it, but I thought, ah, whatever. Now, the last one I put a third of a cup of red wine vinegar and two tablespoons of low sodium soy salt. So for this one, I did the third of the cup of low sodium soy salt, or soy sauce, sorry, and two tablespoons of red wine vinegar, just in case it does help tenderize the meat, and a dash of pepper. So I'm just finishing stirring it up, and this is a lot thicker because there's more powders in this one. So this will be more like a, a rub and a marinade combined. So, um, yeah, so now I just add my meat like before and uh, we'll be good to go. I've got some smaller pieces of meat in this batch because I was cutting off the fat as best as I could because I read that you don't want fat because it doesn't taste good and it can cause it to go rancid. So um, I forget what cut of meat this was. I, it was it was on sale so I bought it. it. It looked pretty lean in the store but once I started cutting it I did find some fat. So I did my best cutting out the fat as much as I could and um, yeah so I'll have two different marinades very similar one just has the addition of a few extra spices and a lot less red wine vinegar and I tasted it I dipped my finger in it before I added the meat and it tasted pretty good so um, I think I'll like it so and I think I had more meat in the other one but that's okay because this meat, yeah, this made more. I can take some of the meat out and mix it in with this too if I need to. But yeah, so look at the nice color. <laughs> Excuse my fingers. I've been washing my hands so many times and then I just get them all yucky again. But um, I've never made jerky before and I'm really hoping it will turn out. All right, guys. That's it and I will see you later. I'm gonna wash my hands because I can't put down the camera. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, guys. Now I'm at the stage where I'm ready to take my marinated steak pieces out, dry them off as much as I can with paper towel, and then put them on the drying racks. And I have cut parchment um, just to cover the insides of the racks to try to. Uh, reduce the mess in there because that's what they suggest doing so all right here's the steak it's been marinating overnight um i stirred it up a few times the pieces on top are not going to have as much stuff as the ones on the bottom but that's okay so i'm just taking the pieces out and then i'm going to blot them dry with the uh They, they already look really good and they smell pretty good too. I mean, wet smoky. I just hope I didn't cut them too thick. Um, they said to cut them about a quarter inch thick and I did a little bit thinner than that I think. So, and I did my best to cut them uniformly. 
by putting the meat in the freezer for 20 minutes so it was firm before I cut it. But next time I'll, I'll get my dad to slice it with the meat cutter. But he's out of town right now. So, but next time it, they'll be totally uniform because I'll be able to use a meat slicer. Um, I don't know how to use it. I have to get my dad to show me how. I'm not even sure where they keep it to tell you the truth. Smokey just said, I don't care. <laughs> Did you hear that? Alright, so I'm just going to blot these dry with paper towel. Try to get as much moisture out as I can. And hopefully that won't take all of the stuff out. But it's been sitting overnight, so that should help. Alright, so once I'm done that, I'm just going to take the pieces and lay them out on here. Just like that. So that they don't overlap. So I'll come back when I have that done. So I have put one rack out with the dried strips so far. And I've got uh, probably another two racks left. So I have way too much beef for the four racks. Um, I'm going to have to do two batches or maybe freeze some of the strips or use them for stir fry or something. Okay, I'll come back when I have all the racks done. Okay hey guys, now I've got all four trays in here, and it took every bit of steak, so now I just have to put the door on and turn it on, and um, up here it tells me what temperature to do for jerky. So it looks like in the middle is jerky, the orange. So that's pretty good, so I'll do that right now. All right, I'll come back when it's done and tell you how it tastes. I accidentally turned off my camera. <laughs> Sorry. So um, the jerky is about halfway done. I'm just turning it over. You can see it's getting stiffer. The uh, next time I'm gonna, I did slice some that I thought were too thin because it said to cut, slice it quarter inch thick. But I think whatever thickness this is is better because the ones that are thicker. I don't like them as much, so the smaller pieces are drying faster. So I'm just turning this around. I'm just turning all the pieces over and then putting it back in. So I cannot wait until it's done. Mmm. It smells much better now. I really did not like the smell. Next time I'm not going to use the wine vinegar. I don't think I like that. But hopefully it'll taste okay. And I only used the wine vinegar in one. The other one I did use a tablespoon of it, but the first one I used the three quarter cups and it was just too much I think. But we'll see. Hi guys! Okay my jerky is ready. Um, and it's really weird because I like the... I might have overcooked it. Because when I took it out it felt greasy. But then when I went online I read that I should have been blotting it with paper towels as it dried and I did not do that. But I blotted it when it was done, and I, I did the test where you break it, and it should bend but not break, but it's breaking. So I overcooked it. I did it for eight hours, but it's still very tasty. And um, it's funny, because I thought I would like the one without the wine vinegar better, but the one with the wine vinegar is much more tender. Now, I don't know if maybe I cut those strips differently, because they said something about grain, cutting with the grain and against the grain, and I just cut around the fat as best I could, and then cut what was remaining the best way that would make strips or small pieces. So I have some long strips like that, but I mostly just have shorter strips like this. And some are a little bit thicker and those don't break. So those are the ones I was worried about, but they look done. So I ended up with 500 uh, grams of dry jerky and I'm just going to package that now into little baggies. All right. And it's delicious. Hey guys, here are some of my finished um, dried treats that I've made in my food dehydrator. So this is one packet of um, beef jerky and it's kind of hard to see the color because it's, it's dark and raining out. It looks bright when you look through the window because it looks like the sun's shining through. 
But it's just because it's so dark in here, even with the light out, that the contrast from outside, even on a rainy day, is making a difference. I don't know. So, um, this is just 50 grams of um, beef jerky. Or maybe it's 100 grams. I can't remember. It's one of the packs of beef jerky. I think that's a 50 gram pack. And uh, this is how much I got all together. And plus this. So, um, here's what it looks like close up. I, I, it's, it's a nice color. Like in my pictures that I took last night, it looks charcoal, like black, but it's really not. It's like a reddish brown. It's really good. And um, I may have overcooked it, though. It's my first time, and I'm, I'm really learning what to do. And these two bowls represent one zucchini, a medium-sized zucchini that I bought yesterday. And um, one zucchini, the medium zucchini, fits three of my trays in my Excalibur, so it left me one tray for some berries, which are not dry yet. But I did, I did um, a little bit with just salt. And you can see how they come out like chips. And there's a crunch. I'll, I'll bite one. Sorry for the chewing noise, but they're good. And I probably could have left these in for another half an hour, but I was really worried about overcooking them after the jerky. And they're good with just plain salt, but I like it better with salt and pepper. The ones with salt and pepper are better. And I've just I've learned that my bottom drying, the racks on the bottom dry a little bit faster than the racks on the top. You can see the difference. So um, they're crinkling. So I'm eating all of these, so it's okay that I'm touching them. Nobody's home. I'm I'm home alone. My uh, family's on vacation. So yeah, and like they break, they're brittle, and that's how they're supposed to be. So the ones with the salt and pepper are delish, like really, really good. So from now on, I will be making them with salt and pepper, not just salt. And eventually, I want to try a bunch of other spices. And the jerky, I had two servings of jerky yesterday. I had it for supper and as a snack. So yeah, I'm getting a lot of protein, and it was to die for delicious. But next time, I do want to try the Korean barbecue marinade, which I couldn't find when I first tried making it. And um, I've read... I use top sirloin because that's what was on sale at my store, but I've read that using um, a round steak, the cut from the round, is the best. So next time I'll try that if I can find it on sale, and I, I, I won't have to make it for a while. I have enough to last me, and I'm keeping it in the fridge, so it should be good for a while. And I did read you can freeze it if you need to, but then you might have to uh, throw it in the dehydrator for a bit once you defrost it to get the moisture out. So that's good to know. So later on today, I'm going to try some kale and some carrot. But first, I'm waiting for my fruit to dry. Okay, guys, so this is what I've had so far. Um, healthy treats. I'm not sure how many carbs. This is. I would eat this much in a serving. This is my, my, my meal bowl that I normally eat from. I have three of them. And um, I know that I can use this bowl and not go over my, my allowance, like how much I'm allowed to eat in one meal. So I eat this this much. So, um, of whatever, I usually use this bowl. So this would be like two servings worth, because this is two trays, and this is one tray. And I've already eaten like two pieces out of this. And this, I would eat about half of that as a snack, or less if I just wanted something to chew on. So, um, yeah, so I'm really pleased. So I definitely will try it again. Hopefully, because uh, it's a learning process, you know. So hopefully I'll learn how to make um, the Korean jerky, which is what I really, it's my favorite. Thank you very much for bearing with me. All right, take care, guys. Bye.